Hi everyone, it's John Mitchell. In this video, we're going to look at corporate social responsibility and operations. Now, I know we've covered corporate social responsibility before in earlier parts of the course, but just as a refresher, it's a business's ongoing commitment to operate in an economically, socially, and environmentally sustainable manner while considering the interests of diverse stakeholders. So it's really those three key areas, being able to operate in an economical, social and environmentally sustainable manner. So it's really going ab above and beyond their legal obligations in those key areas. Now, what we're gonna do in this video is go through the operation system, so the inputs, processes and outputs, and look at different considerations or strategies that businesses can implement that would be deemed to be corporate uh, or to be socially responsible. So we'll start off with the inputs, just remembering that the inputs are the resources used in the production of a product, and we've got some considerations or strategies that can arise with the inputs. So first of all, procurement, which is where a business actually uh, gets their supplies from. They need to ensure that their suppliers incorporate corporate social responsibility practices, and so really being ethical and socially responsible. Um, purchasing local supplies rather than supplies overseas, that helps support the local economy, so it really helps with that local employment um, by keeping your supplies local. It also can, you could argue that it also decreases pollution if you're not purchasing um, goods from, or supplies from overseas because it reduces the actual travel or transportation um, carbon emissions. Also, another element here, you know, or consideration is using environmentally sustainable inputs, so using green energy, using energy efficient facilities, although that could be a real cost, you know, setting up energy efficient facilities, it can be a real benefit there, and also using environmentally sustainable materials when producing a particular product are also considerations or strategies that businesses can use with the inputs phase of the operation system. The next element in the operation system is the processes and remembering that processes are all the activities that transform the inputs into the final output and some corporate social responsibility strategies or considerations that can that can happen in the processes. First of all, waste minimization, where the business looks to reduce their waste, which obviously reduces the impact on the environment. Recycling their resources, being able to reuse the materials in the operation system. So Coca-Cola is very good at that in terms of when they use glass bottles, they recycle all of those. Occupational health and safety going above and beyond the legal obligations or legal requirements to ensure the health and safety of the employees during the processes so that they are absolutely safe and have good health while they're at work. Training, um, training on its own is not you know, really a, a corporate social responsibility consideration. However, it's important that investing in employees and ensuring that all employees have access to training, that's a real ethical element there. So it's not just training for a few employees, but all, all employees have access to ongoing training. And also staying local, so keeping processes within Australia to help support local employment. That can um, that all these strategies can be expensive. Um, so each each one of these can be a high cost to the business. However, they can be deemed to be um, socially responsible or ethical. Now the final element of the operation system are the outputs. Remembering the output is the final good or service that is produced and some corporate social responsibility considerations or strategies that can be used in the output. One is quality or looking at the quality of the end product that is produced by the business. So creating a good quality product that adds real value for money to the end consumer or is fit for purpose so it actually does what it says it's supposed to do. That rather than just you know minimizing costs, minimizing wastage, all those types of things, they're really important for the business, but not compromising on the value to the end consumer. So still trying to create a product that adds real value for money to the consumer, not just trying to get money in the business's pocket. Another consideration is the packaging. So packaging that minimizes the impact on the environment. And the example I've got there is biodegradable packaging. Obviously, you know, when a consumer uses a product and it comes in packaging, they often discard that. So trying to make sure it can be reused or is biodegradable, that is a really important element. Again, it could be costly to implement that, but it's an important factor that could be deemed to be socially responsible. And the last one I've got there is honest marketing. So being honest about the good or service in all marketing materials, truthful information given. So being really honest with consumers about what the product is, what's in the product and what it does uh, is another way of being ethical in terms of the outputs. So there's a number of corporate social responsibility considerations or strategies that are involved in operations. I'd encourage you to make the biggest list possible in terms of the inputs, processes and outputs so that you've got a really strong list of socially responsible practices that can be implemented into operations. So for questions, activities and more, then come on over to teachingbubble.com.